Hey everyone! Today I'm talking to Eleanor Turner, co-founder and chief creative officer of the brand Argent. She is going to walk us through her career path and what she's up to today with her brand Argent. Enjoy! Walk me through your career path. Yeah, so um, I grew up in small town Virginia, um, a town in southwest Virginia called Lynchburg, and um, I knew I wanted to, to be a fashion designer from a very young age, so I, um, I went to school for it at Savannah College of Art and Design. I studied fashion design there. And um, after that, I moved up to New York immediately afterwards because I knew I always wanted to go to New York and um, started working for Tommy Hilfiger. Um, and then after that, uh, Tori Birch as a designer. And then um, after that, J. Crew as a designer. Yeah. And then I took the, took the leap into entrepreneurship after that. And did you have any internships during college? I did, yeah. I actually, um, my junior, I guess the summer in between my junior and senior year, I interned at Vivian Tam, and she was sort of like really hot in the 90s. She came out with like the Mao Zedong um, shift dress, and uh, she had a lot of Asian influence. But she was a cool contemporary designer at the time, and um, it was a great opportunity for me to, to come and really see how things were done and so yeah I, I, I did that one and then um, after I, uh, I graduated I moved up and I started interning as well until I turned that into a full-time job. So you're sitting at J. Crew. how do you know it's time to leave and start a company because that is so scary to most people <laughs> they usually think oh I'd love to start a company but they it's very hard to make that leap. Yeah um, I think it's all about uh, I mean I think you know, life is too short, you have to kind of experiment, you have to take risks. Um, I think this was a calculated risk because I, um, you know, I was sitting at J. Crew and, and I was on the knitwear team there and designing um, a lot of, of pieces per season. And, um, you know, I it just felt like there needed to be more of a, an intention behind clothes for me and designing clothes. Um, and so I, I sort of felt like this opportunity when Sally and I started, first started talking about it, um, I really saw the opportunity there and I saw the need for it and I knew that we could actually um, engineer clothes to help women, to help streamline their lives. And so, uh, you know, when you really see that big of an opportunity and that big of a need and, and a hole in the market for something, it makes it a little bit easier to to uh, you know, put in the two weeks notice and do it, do the thing, yeah. And so what did you learn at each company that you have applied to your own company That's or true. that you decided that you definitely did not want to apply? That is such a good question. Um, so, wow, yeah, uh, at Tommy, I mean, I, I really got so much great experience um, having exposure to different departments of a corporate company and such a global brand um, that you really get to see you know why design is not only important for the customer but it's important for PR it's important for marketing it's important how you talk about it how you communicate these things to the customer and and how that br rounds out every piece of a brand um, so I, I had a lot of experience with that there and I think I really brought that experience to Argent and then Tori Birch um, that was that was to me um, company culture um, they had a really cool company culture there and it was a great working environment and everybody was so friendly and wonderful and that's if you're in the fashion industry, you know that that's a little atypical. So I thought that that was really cool, and uh, and J. Crew. What I really loved about J. Crew was the um, the involvement of you know Mickey, the CEO, in everyday life there, um, and just he always had an open door, and he was always crowdsourcing and sort of 
what do you guys think about this and what do you guys think about that? And it gave you an opportunity to communicate with the leader of the company. And so, you know, I, I think for Argent, I always want to see that going forward and make sure that we're talking to people at the highest levels and the lowest levels because everyone has ideas that are all valid and, um, you know, could be cool to incorporate in, in your business. And I think um, that was like really, really exciting for me. So those are some of the, the awesome things that I saw that I think we'll definitely incorporate into into our Argent's um, business and company culture. How did you choose the name, design the logo, and the website? Um, it's uh, So Argent is actually a word that we took from Sally's family history. Her great-grandfather was also an entrepreneur um, and he had a lumber company um, named Argent Mill. And when we were looking at the word it was really interesting for like a women's brand because it felt strong. It also means silver or money in French, which parallels with the working woman. Um, and the reason he actually named his company that is because it was short at the top of the alphabet and easy to pronounce. And so anytime he was on a list, he was first or he was at the top. And so we thought that that was like really smart and uh, we just liked the word. It didn't seem like, you know, you didn't hear about any other brands being named this and it felt strong and it felt like it paralleled our customer and so we we chose that one. Um, okay, let's go through the construction of your jacket. Yeah. Let's open the pockets. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about Argent and all the special features inside. Yeah, so um, when we first started uh, really rounding out like what Argent was going to be, like I said, I knew I really wanted it to be more intentional. Um, and I wanted to use the clothes um, to help women, to streamline. So um, we really started talking to wor working women everywhere. And um, this sort of includes some of my own personal experience. Just I'm a creative, I'm always listening to music while I'm working and um, you know getting things done at work. And if I'm running around, there's nowhere to put my phone. It's like on the desk, I get up to go and it flies off. and. <laughs> We've all had that experience, right? Or you have it shoved in your back pocket and you sit on it and it's like not a good experience. So I knew that that was like solve number one and that's why we created this um, iPhone pocket. So basically you'll see my, this is my mic cord, but um, this is for your iPhone. So you can actually see through the mesh window here um, if somebody's calling or if you wanna know what song is playing and you can actually move the phone through the mesh pocket. Um, earphone channel, credit card pocket, place for your business cards, um, place for your pens and pencils. So it's sort of actually encouraging women to get rid of their purse. And because uh, I think handbags and purses can be limiting and we can spend a lot of time um, feeling disorganized, rifling through it. Mm -hmm. So this sort of streamlines your everyday so that you can get through it as optimally as possible. Okay, so let's grab this blazer, yeah. one of your favorite pieces. Walk me through the design process, including lead times. Yeah, so idea was, this sort of came out of um, a few seasons with our, um, I guess it's a, yeah, it's sort of like a fan favorite, it's our crossover blazer. It was a bit longer and a bit sharper and we felt like there was a um, there was a need, or I guess just a just to differentiate, to sort of move the product forward. We really love this idea of this like cropped blazer, and so that's where we um, we sort of designed this guy um, out of that need. And it was really about fabric for this piece. You know, it was like having this fun pop color pinstripe, because you've seen traditionally, you've seen pinstripes out there, but um, not always with fun pop colors. So ours is with this beautiful tomato red and this amazing aqua blue running through it with like a, a navy, a dark navy ground. Um, and so lead times for this guy, I mean, we had to do several fittings for this to make it perfect. And fitting is really, we spend so much time.